vault Regional Headquarters. Do we, do we, you want to uh, take a little detour and check it out? I mean, aren't we in the middle of trying to find Hemogene, though? Yeah, but whatever. She went off on her own. Yeah, she'll be fine. Office building for Yeah, something. it's a vault office building. I'm kind of surprised that every single one of the desks isn't armed with a landmine that explodes if you try to leave work early. <laughs> yeah. This seems kind of small, but... Well, it's the regional office, mm. so it would make sense that it's not, like, huge because it's just the smaller regional office. It makes sense. Isn't vault headquarters in D.C. or something? Who knows? Darlene, did you not see that corpse that was standing I'm right there? Ow. Time. The shotgun's real cool, but it's got kind of a really low rate of fire. Yeah, and the freezing doesn't activate unless you get a critical hit. And if Which, you get a critical hit, they're, they're basically one shot anyway. Yeah, so it's a good shotgun, but I kind of feel like I would rather display it on my wall. I found the urinal. Is there... Ooh, is the urinal cake still in there? Is it still in there? Jeez. <gasps> It is! This urinal cake's a silver pocket watch! <laughs> what? I was questioning why you were excited about a urinal cake. Because they're delicious. It, that's one of the only scenarios where that makes <laughs> sense. A is, toy. Is there anything worthwhile in here? A magazine, a card, a bobblehead? There was a Nuka-Cola victory and some toothpaste. Uh, that was worth it. There was a billiard table in here. It's, it's partially destroyed. I wonder if they were playing billiards instead of working. What were they, a tech startup in the early 2000s? Okay, this I believe Dr. Reed is under the impression that the vaults in the Boston area will be used to harm future residents instead of help them. I told him he's just being paranoid. vault -Tec would never do anything of the sort. Sharon spilled coffee on my new shirt while we were sitting in the lounge this morning, so I stabbed her in the throat. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna oh, get laugh. Well, okay. Oh. <laughs> I told again. her it was fine and we had a good laugh about the whole thing. If she does it again, I'll stab her in the fucking throat with my pen. She's a good kid. You made a joke about stabbing her, but that's actually what he wrote. Dr. Ree is beginning to get on my nerves. All he talks about are his theories on how the vaults are actually built to run experiments on people and not actually help them at all. I keep telling him that he couldn't be more wrong. If he keeps it up, I might have to discipline him. He's been a naughty boy. Trading cards are fun, but I want Triple Triad in my Fallout. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is Triple Triad? <laughs> well, you've never heard of Triple Triad? No, what is Triple Triad? Wait, you legitimately have not heard of it? No, what is it? It's a it's a trading card game. In what? In Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, God, well, that's why I've never heard of it. <laughs> because nobody on this entire planet has played Final Fantasy VIII. Which one is Final Fantasy VIII? Oh, that's the one after seven. <laughs> is Final Fantasy VIII the one that has a teacher that wants to jump your bones that uses a whip? Yes. Okay, that I, I have heard of that one. That was, I just realized how stupid what I said was a minute ago. What? Where I said, which one was Final <laughs> Fantasy VIII? Oh, it's the one after Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, of fucking course it is, Zach. I mean, honestly, it, when it comes to Final Fantasy, that's not a weird question to ask. The original yeah. release was 1, 2, 3, 7. Hello there, Mrs. Cactus's friend. Sex appeal, level up. Plus two bonus on persu persuading any human in dialogue. Look, they had a sexy woman and a sexy cactus. And if I'm being honest, kind of a sexy horse. <laughs> Basement. Ah! <laughs> Got him. Okay. I think Mr. Davidson has been getting annoyed with Martin lately. I told Martin he should probably back off a bit because I know Mr. Davidson has a temper. I saw him break a pool cue over Roger's head because he stood too close to the table when Mr. Davidson was taking his shot. Yikes. Roger still has trouble with the hearing in his right ear. I miss Sharon. She's been out for a couple days and it's not the same without her. No one upstairs has heard from her. I'm starting to worry. Getting to see her face when I go upstairs for lunch is the highlight of my day. Yeah, he probably killed Sharon. Possibly. I'm surprised you beat Final Fantasy VI. That one's pretty lengthy. It is, but I... Well, it was... Whoa! Talk about dropping a bomb in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, apparently here are the historic tire fires of whatever this place is. Mm-hmm. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Wow, you look real scary, my man. <laughs> nice sailor's hat. I hope you decide to change your life today. Why, why are all these people smiling? <laughs> well, We're always nice. looking for new members. Why? Hello, neighbor. Why We're the... always looking for new members. <laughs> nice what? eyes. What's up? 
Fuck, you guys are all fucking weird looking. Here to learn about our movement? No. Uh no, I'm not. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I was told you were easy on the eyes. That was a lie. <laughs> we call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. Nope. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. <gasps> I can get in on the ground floor! I know you're going to fit right in around here. So, do we have to sign some paperwork? I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. We, we were looking for imaging, but uh, this seems important. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba Don't worry. I don't bite. Let's go sit down in that chair. Go sit down in the chair. Do it! Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. Yes! 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 Oh! The job. Getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions. To like functioning limbs. The ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. Everything you own, huh? All right, here's everything I own. Oh, you're really going to, uh, welcome. You've made a brave step into a bright future. You're now officially a pillar of the community. So here's level one. Repeat this mantra to yourself until you truly believe it. Okay. I deserve a better life. I deserve a, a better, better life. Life is coming. Better, a better life is life coming. Is almost here. A better life Once is almost here. Once you truly believe that in your innermost self, praise to the monolith. You'll be ready for level two. Bathe in the waters That's of life. That's when things will really start to happen for you. How will I know when I'm ready for level two? Good things will start to happen. You'll see. You just have to keep working on level one until they do. We're still looking for Imogene. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. Very hysterical, yes. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. The truth is, we had a little, uh disagreement about her joining the movement she got kind of violent so i locked her in there until i could figure out what to do with her wow if you're willing to take her off my hands let me unlock the door for you and then she's all yours uh, i've got to warn you she's way stronger than she looks <laughs> it took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there he took everything you owned except your silver tongue no but seriously give me my stuff back there wasn't really a money back guarantee on offer. Sorry. But he deserves a better life. Better life. He's a threat to the community. Holy <laughs> shit! He used the Oh jeez. <laughs> that was worth it. That was that, worth that it. That was good stuff. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Let's 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 try to do this somewhat normally this time. You gotta pistol whip this guy. You, do you know what the fuck this thing is? He it's does. a handheld <laughs> grenade launcher. <laughs> this will make you have a very bad day. You don't hurry up. I'm gonna break... Oh! I forgot about the landmine. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> uh, hello, Emogene? Don't tell me. Jack sent you. It was Edward, but close enough. Edward, who works for Jack. I know Jack was behind this. He's always trying to control me. Jack didn't want us to even come here. Jack wanted to leave you to the wolves. I'm fine, as you can see. 
I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. I hope you weren't too attached to him. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Yay! I'm a jeans rescued! Yep. Alright, let's go report back. Okay. Oh! Oh! A card! That guy's not even aiming his gun! What a plebe. What a nerd! <laughs> Look at the horses! <laughs> Alright, we're back, everybody! I've worked with Deegan before. Maddening. He's a stand-up guy. No bullshit. You can trust him. Uh, what? Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, no. How's this? That's better. <laughs> oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I've never seen raiders that... Uh-oh. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Who? Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. Serum? So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Hi. That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Um, I found Imogene. She's fine. Money, please. Oh, yes. Good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency. Isn't that right? Here. You don't? I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Um, uh, what the hell does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. Oh. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it what? also confers other... Side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. What? So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. You want us to believe you're 400 years old? Uh, where the hell did you get the serum? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my Shush. attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. Hmm. The irony isn't lost on me. But if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. This all sounds far-fetched. Well, like, what can he do? Can he do cool stuff? Enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, 
I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Uh, why? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? You're the dad whisperer. Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. So they've been alive for 400 years. Yeah. And the dad's been restrained for 400 years. That's one of my worst nightmares. On one hand, yeah, it would be kind of, ah, Maria died. Aww. Rip in Maria. She was one of the only gunners that didn't shoot at us. Well, she wasn't a gunner, she was a mercenary. Basically the same thing. Jack! Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. Yeah, they all did. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. All right. You have an office here? Yeah, weird. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. You've never led us astray. I mean, he did get us some really cool stuff when we were in the Mojave Wasteland. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Jack's the real deal. I didn't see that coming. He, he still might be lying to us about being 400 years old. I can't believe this is gonna be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh, it's gonna be Wait, worth it. Wait, listen. If lefties right about Get ready. Being where that new juice is coming from? Hell yeah, it's gonna be worth it. How'd you get any of it anyway? Lefty doesn't even like you. I cashed in some favors with people who Lefty does like. You just saw it because you never got a taste. You better be right. And Lefty better share it out fair or it's not just oh, you. Uh, I think he just went running in. <laughs> Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Yep, yep. Look, yep, that's exactly what I expected. See, here's your problem right there. We got some we got some raiders here that are, you know, they just got to be taken care of real quick. Don't worry. We'll just get in here with, with this thing. There we go. Just a little smoke grenade right over there. We'll just get rid of these rodents real quick. Survive the grenades, impressive, all right. That's pretty impressive. You know, you gotta give credit where it's due. Some of these rodents are real robust. Lock and load. This is my property. You are trespassing. Hey, uh, can you hold on? It's difficult to be your bodyguard when you keep running yep. into the enemies. Heads up. Incoming. Stop it. Stop. Slow Unless down. you can handle yourself, but you really need to slow down there, Jack. How many of these bastards are there? <laughs> Oh, you know how to navigate this place really well, don't you? Okay. Roaches! You can handle them, right? Yeah, you're, you'll be fine, Jack. I'm gonna reach your limbs off. Is, is he actually handling it? I mean, that was glowing, so I don't know. You, you might, yeah, he still he's fine. He needed help. This place is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, come on! That's right, you should be scared. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. I, we, look how many people we have. We've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past... It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the adrenaline field is still functioning. The what? The adrenaline Several field? Several security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. Okay. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Just follow my instructions, and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. All right. I just need to rest here a minute. You gonna be good then? You gonna bleed out? I'll be all right. 
So let's go, what, kill your father? Is that the plan? I guess. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, you're on your own now. <laughs> Jack, what are we doing? Red rum. Red, red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Jack, how are you? Camera falls over. So we're we going up or are we going down? He's what are we doing, Jack? He's like a cat. So, okay, okay, so now he wants to go down. Uh-huh. Wait, he's, he's thinking, do I want to go down? Or do I, which is the fastest way? Hmm, I guess I could go down, but- I'm just gonna pee my pants, I'm so bored right now. <laughs> uh, either, either. Oh, thank God, go, 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 keep going, keep going. Keep your shit. Oh, enemies, you forgot to lock the door, dum-dums. This is a nice little greenery down here. It says, Surprise it's so green, honestly. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Hey, Hi. we just want to talk. Yeah, so who do you work for? Who's your boss? What are you going to give us if we spare you? Okay. <laughs> oh, he was legendary. Oh, he was legendary. The legendary enemy was cowering. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting shot at from both sides by tw by triple barrel shotguns. Talk about a pincer attack. Lucky combat armor left arm. Woo. Can't imagine being locked up in here. And I bet it was just as bad before the war. Those mercs put up a good fight, huh? Yeah. Not exactly the pushover that we were promised. Well, fewer people left in the gang means bigger shares for us, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. And let me work it out again. You dumb asshole. I should shoot you myself. Increase my share by a little bit more. Hey, quit kidding around. You're a kid. What a mess. <laughs> Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. Oh, man. This is my Please. property. I you are trespassing. <laughs> now they know we're here. <laughs> it's fine. I like shooting stuff with a shotgun. <laughs> boof, boof, boof. I don't think Jack Cabot would be good at a stealth mission. <laughs> boof. Ow! You bitch! Stop it! Drop your arms! Surrender now! Now they know the serum's too valuable. Uh, I'd rather just murder everyone. More of them! Oh! Jack, how, how are you? Oh, Drop. you Was like some coming? armor, Jack! Again, Jesus. Smart, I like that. Oh, legendary. Jack! No! I was die, eating! Asshole. Apparently Jack wants to do this. This place has really fallen to pieces over the years. Jack, where the Jack, where the fuck did you get a clock? Oh, whatever. <laughs> you picked off the Raider corpse. Jack! Right? Oh my god, move! He wedged himself in between the wall. <laughs> no! Oh, thank god. Go! Come on, Jack. Why are you doing this to us? Bucket massage, Jack! You look a little tense, Jack. How about that sensual bucket massage? Oh, yeah, just like the Greco-Romans used to do. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you that one. Yeah, I'll give you one of these. No. Yep, that's right. Charge right at us. That'll work out well. So, like a jail? If you were crazy enough, they sent you here instead? Yes, that is exactly how it works. Or, just, I don't know, if you were married and your husband didn't like you that much, if then he would get you deemed as incorrigible, and they'd put you here. Yes, this is basically terrible daycare for women back in the 1800s. It wasn't much better in the in the 20th century, either. I'm sure one of these rooms is going to have something nice, but you got to figure... What? <laughs> was he fishing in the toilet? <laughs> what? I mean, you got to have fun while you're in, you know? I guess. This guy was trying to tunnel his way out. Hmm... Tunnel his way into a different cell. Oh, mannequin storage. Okay. Oh, uh, took longer than we expected. We finally collect enough blood from Lorenzo to perform the full transfusion on patient S18. Okay. Survive the transfusion procedure. Who's subject 18? I don't know. They're, they're doing stuff with Lorenzo apparently even. You'd better have a damn good reason for being here. What? Are you lost or something? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, oh. <laughs> just looking for love, honey. Funny. Levity's in short supply around here. Are you okay? I've got a couple split ends and haven't rebalanced my stock portfolio in a while. <laughs> but other than that, I'm dandy. I, I, I... What are you doing in here? A spatula went missing from my kitchen drawer. I've been looking everywhere for it. <laughs> Fucking what? How long have you been in here? 
If I told you, you'd think I was crazy. Then again, you are standing in front of a naked woman locked in an abandoned insane asylum, so yeah. Yeah? Yup, okay, so what's, what's going on here? My name is Valkyrie. I was kidnapped in the year 2075 and brought here to serve as Jack Cabot's guinea pig. Jack's team ran horrible experiments on me for over two years. Okay. And then a nuclear war broke out and this place was abandoned. I've been locked in the cell ever since. Hey look, it's my worst nightmare, as I was just saying! That's really pretty awful. So, if you read that terminal, I'm guessing you have some questions. Just a couple, so you're immortal? I mean, if you chop my head off, I'm pretty sure that would be the end of me. But as far as aging, disease, and death from natural causes, yeah, I'm pretty much forever young. I wouldn't mind that, I suppose. If reading that terminal didn't convince you what a monster Jack is, I don't know what will. Lorenzo's been imprisoned for close to 400 years. Don't you think that's enough? I owe my life to Lorenzo. It's his blood that runs through my veins and has kept me alive all these years. Besides, what do you actually know about Lorenzo other than what Jack has told you? Well, that's fair. Anyway, what do you say we get this show on the road? By the way, I'd love some clothing and weapons if you've got any to spare. Oh, yeah, so much combat armor for some reason. How'd yeah, you... I picked up a bunch of it. Jeez, all right. I don't have anything that goes under the combat armor. I'll just go naked then. Okay, okay let's go. Is the rest of the Commonwealth as beat up as this place? Yeah, it's all pretty fucked. Darlene, do you have any clothes that you're not wearing? Uh, Darlene, give us some of your clothes. What the f... <laughs> yeah, she had a nice tattoo on her back, huh? I can't wait to finally breathe some fresh air. Um, oh, just, just here, just take these clothes back. All right, I guess we're following right. Jack. Let's go, let's go. Everybody into the elevator, or none of you. I don't care either There's way. There's a lot of us. <laughs> so. Look at how many ladies are in this elevator. Goodness gracious. Whoa, hey Mike, how's it going? <laughs> I didn't want to miss the party. <laughs> I kind of want the immortality serum for myself. If you take the immortality serum, then you won't die. But it's not immortality serum, it's like youth serum. Uh, if, you, if you don't take your proper dose, then you get really old. So, I don't know. You realize this sack of shit has absolutely nothing to offer, right? Just shoot him already. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> a little so itchy mad. on the trigger finger. Yeah, she's a little she's a little grumpy. Well then again, locked away for 400 years. Can't say I wouldn't be that way. Yeah. Also, I don't think it was Jack that was doing those experiments on you, so why don't you chill out a little bit? But maybe it was, we don't know. Yeah, I, I don't actually know. Jack, get the fuck over here! I will get the bucket. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. Okay. We can't let them release Lorenzo. These technologies are very advanced. Too much for an asylum. Shut up. <laughs> Upstairs, and they still can't stop these clowns from barging Those in idiots there. are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. Lucifer's balls? I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. I'm right. going to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. You get this open, everybody gets... All Western! The Drylanders, a complete novel by Alan Vaughn Esten. First things first, let's kill these raiders. I'm opening That's the main it. door. Just keep Hurry. turning it. Counterclockwise. Oh, Yo, you can't have the secret to immortality. If anyone's gonna live forever, it's definitely not me, because that sounds Yeah, terrible. that sounds pretty awful. I don't want to live forever either. String. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Why are you flooding it with a lethal Do dose? Do the right thing. Open this door, and let me out. Do the right thing. Isn't 400 years in prison long enough? Don't listen to him! Do not let him out! Please, just open the door. See, Valkyrie has boobs. And she says to let you out, you so... <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? You fool. 
Ah, oh, at long last, you did the right thing. Did I? You'll see. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can. It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. Oh, goodness. And all the rest of them. How long have you been locked up in there? My loving son trapped me here in the year of our Lord, 1898, so uh, almost 400 years. Oh, my. I think you were about to agree to helping me kill Jack and the rest of my traitorous kin, yes? I don't know if I had agreed to that, but I don't know if we want to kill Jack. We had a fun adventure with him a while ago. There's only one way forward now. But don't worry. You will be rewarded. What Jack has taken from me, I will bestow upon you freely. Ooh. The gift of immortality. Well, that's... Uh, but first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. I mean... Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Oh. Are we going to uh, kill your yeah, entire family? we're gonna go kill his entire family. Oh my. Mike. Oh, are we... Oh! Let's go! Oh! I can't wait to see the look on Jack's face when Lorenzo shows up. I... You might have some anger issues that you need to work out. I want to see Lorenzo's true power! Show us what 400 years of immortality can do! I don't want to get involved with the fate of the world. I just wanted a damn paycheck. But we'll see how this plays out. I feel like it's not going to play out well for anyone in the Cabot family, except <laughs> for Lorenzo. Hello, uh, let's talk, everybody. Just hey, work. hey, everybody, how's it going? Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? What? Uh, I don't know. Is he here yet? No, of course not, or we'd all be dead already. Now answer the question. Why did you free him? I don't know. You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive, probably. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. He has a point. Your story about curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what he has to say. He's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time. I don't know. I think Lorenzo's a homicidal maniac, but I kind of doubt Jack was trying too hard. That's what I always figured. I can't believe you thought I was lying to you, Edward. After all I've done for you. <gasps> oh, my! Ah, you're oh, he's here. here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house. There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. <laughs> Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. <laughs> wow, you would two-faced bitch. You all betrayed me. <laughs> Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Oh, jeez, oh. Louise! Oh, okay, yeah. Whoa. Uh, why are you... Deegan, what the... All right, Deegan, didn't have to be this way. Jeez, Lorenzo's powerful. Holy, holy mackerel. Yikes. Great time. What the fuck are you doing? Can you tell me why? Why are we murdering people? Well, they started it. D Darlene, <laughs> you have seen us murder so many fucking people. Yeah. You have seen us kill... So many. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. A nerd, his bitch sister, a two-faced whore of a mother, and a man that tried to kill me. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. You dumb frog leg eating bitch. <laughs> hey, Lorenzo, we're on your side. Don't okay. kill us. Well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. You're pretty insane, aren't you? Perhaps, by the old definitions. But things have changed while I've been locked away. The old rules no longer apply. I don't have to wear pants. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. If you like dirt, radiation, and random violence, then man, you are in for a treat. 
You're looking at things the wrong way, my friend. The old world's luxuries were paid for by an infinity of rules and restrictions. There was no room for a truly creative mind to flourish. True. Now, however, there's nothing to stand in my way. Or yours. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promised to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Ooh. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, Wait, how this is my gift. What's, what's lifetime? You. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. Yeah, I don't drink. Thanks for helping me out there. I owe you one. Here, this is for you. Might be more where that came from if you play your cards right. Oh, uh, additional immortality serum? Okay. Okay, so what's next for you? Well, most people, after spending 200 years counting the grains of sand in a cell, would go crazy. But really, it was a pretty cheap price to pay for eternal youth. It's been so long, though, and so much has changed. You seem like you can handle yourself pretty well. For the moment, I'll keep tagging along with you if that's alright. I've also got something personal I could use your help with. You see, when I arrived at Parsons in 2075, it wasn't because I was crazy. Someone kidnapped me and brought me there, but I'm fuzzy on the details. For my own sanity, I need to know who took me and why. Hmm. Okay, give me the details. The last day I remember, before waking up bound at Parsons, at a doctor's appointment. You see, before the war, I was in the Army Reserves. Oh. My unit got called up and we were scheduled to ship out to Anchorage, Alaska to assist in the war effort there. Oh, fine. But before leaving, I had to complete a routine physical and get some blood work done. My appointment was in the morning at Medford Memorial Hospital, hmm. and it all seemed to go normal. But afterwards, I was feeling a little lightheaded. So when I got home, I just hung out on the couch and watched TV the rest of the day. I had a late dinner, watched the sunset, and went to bed early. Next thing I remember, I was an inmate at Parsons. Anything else? All I know is that at Parsons, I overheard them talking about there being something unique in my blood or DNA. Mitochlorians. It wasn't mitochlorians! <laughs> ah, my friend. Good to see you again. Yeah, I... What can I do for you? I didn't leave. I'm still here. Give us more immortality serum! When you've used what I gave you, I will be glad to provide another vial. Was there anything else? Not good enough! We want more! Just that's the new normal for you, huh? Isn't it, Mike? I've gotten a taste, and I love it. Get a hundred bucks, and suddenly a hundred bucks isn't enough. So then you get a thousand dollars, and suddenly a thousand dollars isn't enough. So you get three thousand dollars, and suddenly three thousand isn't enough. Just whatever the new thing is, that's the new baseline zero for you, and it's just never, never, never enough! Yes, yeah, Zach, it's called inflation! Basic economics! Look it up! You're a boomer. So, I'm sure you'll want to take care of this yourself. Family photo! Family's photo! Alright. Now everyone smile for the camera! So you wanna play? <laughs> oh boy! He's strong! We saw that when he murdered his entire family. I don't know how you forgot why this. He, why is he using a rusty 10 millimeter pistol? Also, how did you get so tan? <laughs> you know, that's a good point. She was underground for, what? I mean, granted, that it is entirely possible that that is just her normal skin color, but it does seem like she's very tan. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She, she'd have really long fingernails, too, wouldn't she? Like, claw fingernails. Uh, I guess fingernails. she'd, like, chew them off, though. <laughs>